in December of 2018, I don't know if you know this story, but Times Magazine published uh, an article about this beautiful story of this unusual relationship between George H.W. Bush and this boy. George identified himself only as George or J. Walker, G. Walker uh, in their uh, correspondence. Bush began writing to Timothy, the seven-year-old boy living in the Philippines back in 2001 as part of this uh, uh, Compassion International sponsorship program. So George wrote to the boy and he said, like, I want to be your new pen pal. And, and he wrote to Timothy saying this, I love kids and although we have not met yet, I, I already love you. Timothy, in response, shared photos, poems, and drawings, and always inquired about Bush. In one of his letters, he said, I hope you won't get tired of writing to me. So Bush and Timothy exchanged letters for about three years, and Bush never fully revealed who he was for Timothy's um, safety. Bush identity was revealed after the boy Timothy graduated from the Compassion International program back in, in 2010. So Timothy, he was shocked to find out that Mr. G. Walker was in fact the former U.S. President George H.W. Bush. Timothy was speechless and he didn't know what to say. So when I think about this story, I think about this boy who was possibly known by the most powerful man in the world at the time. No wonder he was speechless when he found out who he was. And it's even more baffling to think that George H.W. Bush took time to invest and get to know this boy even for a period of, a period of three years. And you know what is even more crazy than this story? That deeper than us knowing God, it is us being known by God. You know, what defines us as Christian is not most profoundly that we have come to know Him, but that God took note of us and made us His own. 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 3 says this, But if anyone loves God, he is known by God. And I want to encourage you this morning with this truth. And if this is true, let, let me share you some implications of that. The first thing is this, that God chose to know you. And this is not because of you. This is not because of your merits. Do you know how freeing this is? Like George W. Bush, God took the initiative in the process to know you, as the Ephesians says, that He called us before the foundation of the world. The implication of this is that God's love and initiative for you is not based on you and what you have done in your past or what you're doing in the present or your future. God simply loved you, period. And the love you have for God is the very sign that God loved you first. And note this, He knows you. And this is very important because He knows everything about you and He loves you. He doesn't love a better version of you. He loves you today. So, brothers and sisters, be encouraged and speechless today that the God, the Creator and Sovereign over everything decided to know you and different than George Bush who was not able to have a lasting impact in Timothy's life God will complete his work in you empowering and capacitating you to know him to love him and to know others so God bless you